Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. Um, Merry Christmas uh, if you guys are watching this. Um, later on, you know, it, it might be Christmas Day. Hope you have a good holiday. Um, before we jump into the Off the Books video, uh, I did uh, ask some of the partners if they wanted to participate in this year's uh, thing. I did get a couple. Um, I asked for, uh, like, to make your own card or whatever. Um, I didn't do the community um greeting card where everybody says hello or merry christmas or whatever i just didn't have the time this year uh, i would have loved to have done it but i just wasn't able to uh, i did get some cards uh, from some of the partners i just wanted to showcase them um i'll put them up on the screen here i'm going to link all their uh socials and pages um in the description so make sure you go check them out um they took the time to make these cards um, and they're all super cool people. Um, they, uh, they've all been really good to me. So, um, first one up uh, is Erfeldi. Uh, he made a uh, Christmas card. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's really cool. You know, it's got the, you can see Jess and Crozier here in the picture. Um, a Christmas present for Jess, Ryan, Thea. Sealy's little clown thing, shoop ornament, CDPR ornament. Um, just all around like Easter eggs and the whole thing, man. I think it's really cool. Um, he's always been really great. He's participated in the um, greeting card every year. So, you know, thank you, Erfeldi. I appreciate you. Uh, next one up is uh, TG Gwent um, on Twitter. Uh, he's always been really, really great to me on Twitter, man. Um, shout outs to him. Uh, this card looks great. Um, you got the uh, the Witcher with the candy cane and Happy New Year from T T G went. So uh, really great. Uh, the editing on this is fantastic. I love it. Uh, Christmas hat going on here. Um, really great, man. Uh, check out his stuff. And then last but not least, I gotta look this one up because I always forget it. Um, Renan Alboy. Um, I believe it's Broken Lamp Gaming. I think that's his channel. I'm not 100% sure. He's another partner. He made a custom Santa Claus card for Skellige. It's um, four strength, two armor, ten provisions, claws of strategist, mage. Santa's a mage. Warrior. Deploy your opponent. Can't activate order this turn. Order. Create an explosive gift token in the opposite row. And then the explosive gift token, when a friendly unit order ability activates, it destroys this explosive and deals one damage across the entire row. So it's kind of like a trap on the opponent's side of the board. It's pretty cool. Um, I love this art. I use it for my uh, Discord picture, um, but I Photoshopped myself into it. <laughs> um Shout out to these these guys. They they were great, man, for uh, taking some time to make a card. Like I said, check out their links. Um, give them a follow. Give them a upvote on one of their videos if they have videos out. But shout outs to them. Uh, today's video though, it's uh, something I came up with. I played on the stream. We had some fun with it. It's um, uh, off the books. With uh, the broken combo of King King of Beggars and Savalo, they probably have to change this because I mean it drops for like 40 points. <laughs> um, it's it's pretty unbelievable, and I mean if you can get the Poison Party with Roland and Gellert in round one, uh, along with your thinning of Sewer Raiders and Bouncers, this card's gonna pop off for a bunch. Um, it's just very very abusive. Uh, Philippa is in here as a kind of like a tech choice it's just nice to be able to snatch a defender snatch what you want uh, if they got a pesky engine you can grab up and possibly use you know it's great Royal decree no bank um jock's another nice finisher you can use to possibly pull out king of beggars if you didn't get savolo um there's a couple other tributes you know you got the uh uh the salamandra mage if you do take it um and then you also have Black Rayla in here to play. Um, you know, she does have the Prophet and uh, the Adrenaline 5. She starts boosting herself. Sometimes the Veil comes into play, but I think it depends on what you're going up against. You know, you, to where you're going to have to think about maybe skipping that 
veil option, but if you got this going, um, having that veil is really nice. Uh, you also too have the hideout in here, so you can possibly, um, you know, poison something in one turn because you do have fist techs in here and traffickers. Uh, double spender with C Jackal and some proactivity if you didn't draw your thinning with uh, tax collector. Uh, a couple games. Once again, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Um, hopefully we'll be able to keep the trend going with uh, streaming on s either Sunday or Monday, depending on which day I'm available. It's been fun. So thank you guys for sh showing up for that. And just here's to another year of Gwent, man. I, uh, I'm, I'm very hopeful that this year is going to um, put a good showcase on the game. Um, and... We're going to get some really cool stuff, and I'm really excited. So, a couple games. I'll see you at the end. I got it. The Skellige list did pretty good, Levi. You missed a little bit of that. Alright, so we have the Poison Party. We dropped the Boat and a Jackal. I don't think I want this in hand, but I don't have a poison. Well, I got this, so it's still possible. But I think I dropped this first. Okay, so we have all our thinning. That's nice. I think we go... Well... Let's play this first. You've been playing pirates yeah it's it's a good time i enjoy pirates um i guess he if he draws the whole thing we're in trouble it's a good philippa target but i'm sure he has burner i'm sure of it I like Syndicate, but I like it more as a control option. Like, I like... I miss Blood Money. Like, Blood Money was my jam. Okay. So now we go... Roll him? Oh, it dies the thing, though. Shit. Dies the gutting slash. This is awful. Yep, I know. Gutting slash. I guess he could use a leader charge. Passive floor. Passive floor was fun too. I mostly like playing passive floor because uh, you could play the Gar Garuna card. Okay, so he's setting up a graveyard, I guess. Okay. Boat comes out, so he needs nice. So we could thin these out still. So we did a lot of our thinning. We have decree for. I guess it depends on what he plays here. Kurt don't really need it because he's not gonna. Well, he might have Defender. Poison, Poison. KOB. Where do we get coins from? Ziggy. Um. It's too slow. Ah. So we play these. Where do we go after that? This is Savalo. 
We still got Jock, which is nice. We have to try to get Fakusha out of him. Congregate looks fun. I was actually going to try that. Um, we steal that. Oh, and it got armor. Yes, please. Yes, please. So now we can Ziggy and get the boat out. Ah. He did have it. He did have it. Dirty dog. It's good we kept it. I love this art, by the way. It's like kind of simple, but it just like I don't know. It just looks cool. Kurt's a badass, man. He looks like if he was a wrestler, he would be in the Road Warriors. I know Mr. Uh, Morpheus is a wrestling fanatic. I I don't watch it now, but when I was little, I loved it. Um, four. Is that our poison target? Damage three units? No, not yet. I think we go Ziggy. We get the boat out. We play this, we spend once. We could play this too. Croc. He would have been a good pull. We want to get that Fakusha out. He could hit the boat here. Which would be catastrophic for him, I think. Oh, we could poison. We could have just poisoned this. Shit. God. So that low rolled. Alright. So here we go. We grab up Savalo. You not stand in the way of my Pay the tribute. I won't let you. Uh, how many clicks do we do? Two. 52 points. We got a poison. This is kind of awkward, though. I guess, though, that makes what's his name come out, right? So we don't want that. So I think we do pass. Holgar. Okay. So that's a four. All right, we jump out. This is this is a decent amount of points he's got to get here. Yeah, this is a decent amount of points he's got to get. We do have to draw these action cards. But this is where we jump out, I think. Uh-oh, did the stream die? Uh-oh. There we are. It died for a second there. We need to play a card. What do you mean? Did this make me play a card? What? Nose, mouth, any hole will do. Well, I mean, I guess we're going in now. I disappeared there for a second. I don't know what happened. And I could have swore I passed, but I must have clicked on something. He's going to lose his seven. He plays Fakusha, but I mean, he's got to burn Coral then. 
This plays for 10. I guess we spend one more time. Oh, shit. Why the boat? Brand's gonna be stupid big. I guess he just morphed Vargs there, though. Unless he didn't draw it. Does he go Fakusha now? He does. Into Coral. Into Croc. That's not enough. So now we jump out. Wait. See ya. He still needs eight points. I guess so he's got one here. Seven. He's got to spend something big here. Something big's going to get spent. Oh, yes, the leader. So his leader's gone. We got one leader charge on him. That's good. Holy shit, that thing had 13. Dear Lord. We have to hang on this so we can bring out King of Beggars unless we draw Jacques. Okay. Okay. I mean... Are we going to hit three units and are they going to be covered in armor? Probably. So this isn't going to be any good. Can't risk it. This is it. <clears throat> Terror of the Sea. This still lives. We play Jacques lot. We have a Jacques King of Beggars finisher. I guess we could play this too. Ooh, the bricked Morkvarg. The shamed Morkvarg. We don't need Veiled. This is our spender, though. That, we are going to over-profit a little bit. We're going to over-profit two. Well, actually, more than that. Oh, I should have took the veil. We still win, though, right? So this dies... That's sad. But I think we still win. Maybe. Brand's got a... Oh, God. He might be like a 30. Well, okay. Do we still win? Just barely? By the leader charge. <laughs> They've been close games. They've been close games. So we lost one by one and we won one by two. That's pretty good. This is some horse shit right here. I, li I like King Bran though. At first, I didn't like him because I'm dropping him on the board and he's only playing for like 10 or something like that. But then I realized he gets all the Warriors boosts too, so. He's kind of like a Vesemir of Skellige, I guess. The disconnect. It was just. It was really hard to follow if you didn't know what you were, like, watching. I understood it, but if you're new to the the series, like, you can get lost pretty quick. This should be pretty good.
Yeah, or like I think I even seen on um I seen it somewhere. Um where they put a um like an order mark of how to watch the series or something. And it's like Shouldn't you just put them in order? <laughs> <laughs> like, from the get-go? Like, why would you even do it that way? Herkia. Okay, where's my Philippa? Can I get there? I need to get the four first. These are both veiled units. What if I ziggy now and yoink that? How does he win? We over profit one. But like how does he win? Does he spend it now? Really? He's gonna cement full leader? No way. Okay. Uh, this might bite me in the ass here. But it's just too funny not to. You do not to live. <laughs> like, it's just too good. I mean, and I got. I need a couple more coins, but. I could still play these. The poison gets me there with this. Blood Eagle. Ah. Into what? Really? I think we thin first. 23. This thing's a little machine gun. Herkia putting in work. Alright, so we spook him. This comes down next. I mean, we spent Philippa, but I can kill, oh, yeah, I can kill these next turn. Oh my goodness. Don't play a boat. This might be the best Salamander Mage of all time. It has to happen. All the major faults with Season 1 were fixed in Season, fixed in Season 2. I just dislike that they decided to change so many characters. Yeah, I've only gotten up... Don't go too far into it, too, by the way, because I'm only on episode two. Um, oh, my goodness. Watch this. Tribute three damaged... Oh, it's only by two. Shit. But I could kill him, possibly, right? I have to do it. It's just too good. We pay the tribute. We got one of them. We still have these. And we have a spender. It's close. It was close. Yeah. I, I, there hasn't been a whole lot on TV. Now, he might go down a card here. But I think we let him do it. Uh, twenty one. Let's go here first. One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch for harvest. Then we could play these still. We didn't spend anything. Nice. So we can go into poison. Oh, and the boat came back. And we got full carryover. So we could play these. He's He only has one leader charge, right? We need to actually draw our cards. Okay. Um, first we drop that. Do we keep this now? I 
It's bodies for this, so I think we do. We have to find Cibola, though. It's fine. We just go here. Then we play Roland. I think we play all the way down to Jacques. Still lives. We can poison whatever he plays, right? Skjordal. So he kills the Spectre. I think we still do it. I think we go here. We pay the tribute. We gain some more coins. The boat comes out. We don't have the spender, though. That's the only thing that sucks. Where's he at? Six. This is only tribute four. Vobjorn. He's going to kill the boat. And he grabs up Harold, so he's saving Fakusha. So I think we gotta rebuild the Scoyatel list, to be honest. Okay, 25. I think we take the full carry over and get out. He's out of a leader. We just need Savolo or Black Rayla. The poison might not be that good since we don't have the self poisoning. Okay. The Kurt, probably we don't need, but we got to get rid of this first. Oh no. Oh, we got him. Thank goodness. But how do we. Oh, we get the coins with this. Okay. We're okay. Raider. He doesn't have Blood Eagle anymore, correct? He used it twice. This is still a 7. So where do we take this to? We play him. I think we play him, pay the tribute, spend once, twice. Because that gets us to eight. We stack on this row because of a... Uh... Yeah, but it instantly dies, you know what I mean? Yeah, it instantly dies. Um, and this gets the boat out. Uh, no, we don't take the tribute because we don't care. Um, we get the boat out. Correct. Oh, man, we messed up, though. If this dies, we're in so much trouble. Three, five. Oh, he kills that. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so we go here. Play Savolo. Play it on melee? We pay the tribute. And we spend once. 
twice. He's gonna have Morkvar. We don't care. It was gonna die no matter what, I think. It was just gonna... It was gonna happen. Really? So his last card's... Morkvar. So we just... <laughs> he knew. He knew. Beautiful. That deck worked out really well.